Hello, this is Will from WHMCS. In this tutorial, I will walk you through setting up automation in WHMCS. The automation settings area is where all of the WHMCS automated processes are configured. This includes functions such as suspensions, unsuspensions, terminations, how far in advance to generate invoices, when overdue notices are sent, and more. This video provides an overview of the automation settings in WHMCS, but each option is covered in detail in the documentation. To begin, navigate to Setup, then Automation Settings. For daily automation functions to occur, a cron job must be configured. The recommended frequency for the cron job is to run every five minutes. Usually, the cron job is created during the initial installation of WHMCS. A read-only copy of the cron command is displayed at the top of this page should you ever need to recreate the cron job. The scheduling dropdown sets when the WHMCS daily automation will occur, such as billing functions, suspensions, and terminations. The automatic module functions area controls how WHMCS handles suspensions, unsuspensions, and terminations. In this section, you can choose whether WHMCS performs these functions and set the requirements for doing so such as how overdue a service need be before it is suspended or terminated. The billing settings area lets you choose when invoices, reminders, and overdue notices are sent. You can also adjust when late fees are generated, adjust overage billing calculation, and enable or disable automatic invoice status and due date adjustments if chargebacks occur. Credit card charging settings control how automatic payments using stored payment methods are handled. You can adjust when charges occur, whether failed attempts should be retried, how often to retry, and how to handle expired card information. In currency auto update settings, you can enable or disable automatic exchange rate updates and choose whether to automatically update product prices to reflect the current exchange rate. Domain reminder settings allow you to set when and how many domain renewal reminders are sent. The domain sync settings area controls whether the domain sync function is used which ensures the expiration date, next due date, and status of active or pending transfer domains remains accurate. Here you can choose whether to enable this function, control how often it occurs, choose whether or not to automatically update the next due date, and whether automatic changes are made or a notification is sent to the admin users instead. In the support ticket settings area, you can choose to have inactive tickets automatically closed after a set number of hours. Data retention settings control how often clients with no active products, services, add-ons, or domains are automatically removed from your installation. You can choose whether to enable this option and set how long to wait before removing an inactive client. In the miscellaneous area, you can enable automatic cancellation terminations, automatic usage calculation, and choose how client status updates are handled. Paired with your data retention settings, this area helps to ensure that your active client list remains up to date. The default option sets any client with no active products or services to an active and will apply to most use cases. Once you have chosen a configuration based upon your needs, click Save Changes and you're done! The new settings will take effect on your next daily automation run. Join me in the next video for an overview of payment gateways. Thanks for watching!